Welcome back to this topic. I think if you all can see the screen. Am I audible, students? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. yes sir. So this is the sum which we had seen in the previous lecture. Uh, I will read it once again and I will tell you one easy method to solve this. Now every time we will not draw this three, uh, lamina and we will not draw this object. Okay, so easy method to draw this is what I'm going to tell you today and then we'll see a few more sums. The question reads like this, a pentagonal lamina 25 mm side is resting on HP on one of its corner. Okay, so it is resting on HP. So front view will touch the X Y line, and what will touch the X Y line of the lamina? Because it is resting on, uh, resting on HP on one of its corner. So corner is resting on HP. So front view will have corner touching the X Y line. Okay, the lamina is inclined to VP. You can see the lamina is inclined to VP, so top view will be inclined. Draw its projections if one of the edges perpendicular to HP. One of the edges perpendicular to HP means this should be drawn vertical like this. Okay. Now, yesterday I explained you how to draw this. For that, what we did, we do it like this, and then I told you to take the distances from here. Now, if if this is drawn here, what if, if the same thing, the same thing, is drawn here, here? What I'm saying is what we did yesterday, we first drew this and then from here we took the distances and then we mark the distances here. Now, instead of drawing it separately, can we not draw it here itself? Iske baju mein? Yes, we can do it. So how will we start? We will start like this. We will start like this. We will first draw X, Y line. We will first draw X, Y line and this lamina is now inclined to VP. So what will we do? We will consider it as parallel to VP. See if it is, you read the question. The lamina is inclined to VP. So if it is inclined to VP, we will initially consider it as parallel to VP. We will initially consider it as parallel to VP. If it is inclined to HP, we will initially consider it as parallel to HP. So if you remember in projection of lines, we started with stage one, stage two and stage three. Here also we will have stage one, like this is the stage one. This is actually the stage one and this is stage two. There is no stage three in this problem. So there are two stages only. Now it is given that the lamina is inclined to VP at 45 degree. Now we have understood that the top view will be a line, front view will be a lamina. That also is known to us. We also know that this line will be vertical. We also know that this point will touch the X Y line. So we'll draw the same thing here. We'll draw the same thing here. See how will we draw? We'll draw it like this. So starting from this point, starting from this point, we can draw a pentagon. Now all of you know how to draw a pentagon and we'll draw a pentagon like this. And when we project it in the top view, um, sir. Yes, sir. Could you teach once again, sir, how to draw that pentagon, sir? Please. Yes, yes. I will. I will repeat it. So let, let me complete this first, and then I will repeat. Okay. So this is the projector. This is another projector, and this is the third projector. And then we have projectors in this direction also, like this. This is one more, and this is one more. And how we will we name it? We'll name it like this. Uh, it was say A dash here, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, and this will be A comma B, C comma E and D. Then what is sold? It is told that it is inclined to VP at 30 degree. So it is inclined to VP at 30 degree means from here. From here we'll draw a line at what angle? at 35 degree. Now we'll name the point here as this is A1 and B1. So where will C and E will come? So if you take this distance in compass from here to here, if you take this distance in compass and draw an arc here, somewhere here we'll get the point CE. So I will name this as C1 
comma e1. Then again, if you take this distance in compass from a b to d, if you take this distance in compass somewhere here on this line, we will get this point d1. Okay, so the remaining line we can erase, remaining line we can erase like this. Okay, and now we, what will we do is we will draw the projectors in upward direction like this. One, two, and three, and we have projectors in all the directions now. And we can say that this is now A1 dash, this will be B1 dash, this point here will be C1 dash, this will be D1 dash, and this will be E1 dash. And now if we join this, if we join this like this here, this thing, this thing, and this thing. So now see. <coughs> What we drew yesterday, what we drew yesterday, the same thing is done here. So this initial position, this initial position is drawn here. And this final position, this final position is drawn, is drawn here. So this is how we draw it uh, when we are drawing it on the paper. So every time we will not <coughs> draw it like this three dimensional and then we understand from it. No, there are two stages here. Understand the two stages again. This is called a stage one. This is called a stage one. And this is called a stage two. Stage two. Of course, there will be side view then. You can draw the side view here. Side view. But what will we do in stage one? In stage one, we will make the, we will draw the line parallel to that plane to which it is inclined. We will draw the line parallel to that plane to which it is inclined. Now here you have to note that you will always draw the line inclined as parallel and not this as parallel. OK, not this. The line which is to be made inclined will initially be drawn horizontal or parallel to the X, Y line and then we'll draw it like this. So is this procedure clear to all of you? Yes, sir. Sir, stage two, up is some OK, stage two is very much easy. Stage two is easy that this line is now inclined at 35 degree, which is given in the question. The line is inclined at 35 degree. Inclined at, sorry, 45 degree, no? 35, no? 45, yeah. So we'll make it 45. Line is inclined at 45 degree to, yeah, okay, 35. So we'll make this only as 35. Okay, the line is inclined to be at 35 degrees. So what will we do in stage two? This line, which is representing the true length, this is representing the true length, correct? True length will be drawn at 35 degree. Will be drawn at 35 degree like this. And when it is drawn at 35 degree, you just have to. How will you draw this at 35 degree? A line at 35 degree, and then anywhere you take this point A1, B1. And from A1, B1, what is the distance of CE? We take it in compass, cut an arc here, you get the point C1, E1. Similarly, where is D? D is here. So you take this much distance in compass, cut an arc, and you will get the point D1. Once you get the point, you project this in upward direction and project this in horizontal direction, wherever these letters meet, like A is on this line and A is on this line. So this point will be A. Now, since it is front view and dash, so it will be A1 dash like this. And then after this is completed, after this is completed, you can draw the side view. You know how to draw the side view then. So what is the difference between drawing front view, top view and side view and this uh, initial and final stage? Here we have to draw this X1, Y1 line and project the side view. Here we are not drawing the X1, Y1 line, vertical line like this. Okay. Is this clear to all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, Dr. Leo. Yes. Now, before I explain how yes, to draw sir. pentagon. OK, OK. Before no, sir, I explain. I doubt, sir. One more. Yes. So this stage one can be drawn in rough, right? No need. You can draw in this entire thing in fair. In fact, uh, when you are drawing it, this, this should be drawn in fair. See, either you draw like this, either you draw like this, or, or you draw like this. Either you draw the way we did in yesterday earlier lecture or you draw like this. Both are correct. 
but then this has to be drawn somewhere so instead of drawing it somewhere why not to draw it here only got it yes sir okay now there can be one condition in the question and the condition can be condition can be uh, see this uh, condition can be given about this point a1 b1 okay i mean to say this distance they can give condition in the question about this distance which distance they can give condition about this distance and what can be the condition the condition can be uh, i will write it here edge ab is 20 mm in front of vp if this condition is given then this distance will be 20 mm and then when you are you are drawing this point this point this particular point this distance should also be 20 mm it means that you cannot draw it here anywhere you cannot draw it anywhere you have to draw at what distance at distance of 20 mm only at distance of 20 mm only if it is given in the question so this condition you have to uh see if you have to see for this condition or any other condition which is given in the question hope it is clear to all of you yes sir yes sir yes sir okay now about how to draw a pentagon so in order to draw pentagon what will you do you will draw a line what is the length of this line length of the line is equal to length given length of the pentagon side of the pentagon then then you can draw a line like this and line like this what is this angle this is 108 this angle is 108 now take distance equal to 20 mm in compass and cut an arc here and cut an arc here with with center where center first here and then center here so how will you you will get these two arcs like this so once you get these two arcs you can thicken this like this and like this so you got three points then you want one more point so for that what will you do again take the same radius in compass and keep it here and draw arc here then keep it here at this position and cut an arc here and then this can be then this can be joined like this this becomes a pentagon okay so all this angle even this angle is 108 this angle is 108 to measure any angle all the angles will be 108 only so every time you don't have to measure the angle you can uh, use this method also okay question a square lamina 30 mm side is resting on one of its corner on the hp okay the corner the lamina is resting on hp what is on hp is the entire lamina on the hp no only the corner is on the hp only the corner is on the hp yes students tell me from this sentence a square lamina is resting on one of its corner on the hp so the entire lamina entire lamina is not on hp entire lamina is not on hp what is on hp only one corner is on hp so only one corner is on hp so the other corner has to be above the hp has to be above the hp means it is resting on this corner see here on the hp so when it is resting on this corner on hp from this view what you will see is front view like this means you will see it like this correct so this is the corner on which it is resting on hp is this much clear to all of you yes sir yes sir. see the co question will not be a straight forward question where it will be given that it is inclined to hp all the time okay it will not be the case you have to understand it from the sentence i am repeating it for those who have not understood a square lamina means one view will show us a square other view will show us a line which view should will show inclined line which view will show line line will be seen in that view which view is inclined you can uh, note down this sentence line 
will be seen in that view which is inclined which is inclined okay so so line will be seen in that view which is inclined so you have to first understand whether it is inclined to hp or vp if it is directly given in the question it's okay if it is not given in the question we have to understand it like in this sum it is not given that it is inclined to hp or vp we have to understand it so for that i am reading the question a square lamina so one view will be square other view will be line 30 mm side square ka side 30 mm is resting on resting on one of its corner on the hp so it is resting on hp on one of its corner so now this lamina this is resting entire lamina is resting on hp ye pura hp pe rakh diya humne it is lying on the hp now is this what we want no we don't want the entire lamina to rest on hp what we want is we want that only only one of the corner any of the corner should rest on hp like this and the other corner obviously will be away from the hp because we want only one corner on hp and when we are seeing it from here when we are seeing it from here the front view will be inclined line like this inclined line like this then what will be the top view now you may be thinking how will we draw the top view will we draw the top view like this or will we draw the top view like this so if you draw the top view like this then what will happen here it is resting on it is resting like this so what is this point this point is not uh, this point is denoting what it is denoting an h it is denoting an h and the question will be it is resting on one of its edge on the hp this is what we don't want what we want we want that when it is inclined it should be inclined such that it is resting on one of its corner on the hp so this point should be corner so for this point should be corner we do not want here a b we want here only a so it should be drawn like this it should be drawn like this it means the initial position will be like this and final position will be like this and this will not work now we have understood that it is inclined to hp now since it is inclined to hp we will draw it parallel to hp since it is inclined to hp we will draw it parallel to hp so how how will we draw parallel to hp now if it is resting here what you will you see what you will see in the front view a line and where will you see this square from the top you will see the square from the top view means if i erase this thing if i erase this thing how will we see it is like this wait so only hp drawn only hp is drawn here this is drawn like this this is a square and we are viewing the object from here so what will be the front view front view will be a line like this and what will be the top view top view will be like this in second stage what will we do we'll keep this point here itself we'll keep it here itself and we'll raise this point we'll raise this point such that it becomes like this inclined to hp inclined to hp so this is making some angle with the hp this is making some angle this is making some angle with the hp like this now this angle is not known but how will we come to know the angle for that we will read the second sentence so from the first sentence itself we have drawn so many things and we have understood that this is not correct this is not correct because in this case it will be resting on what edge and we want it to rest on corner the corner opposite to which it is resting is opposite to which it is resting matlab ye wala corner so if i name it then this is a this is b this is c this is d so d is a corner and a is a corner corner opposite to which it is resting so it is resting on a opposite corner is what d it is 20 mm above hp means this is d this is d and this is a this is d this is a so how much is this distance this distance is 20 mm 20 mm done now you can measure the inclination is the sum clear to all of you understood any doubt no sir okay so how will me the sir 
फिर उसके बाद दो मिनट सर वो डाउट आता है आएगा तो देखते हैं ठीक है देख लो हेलो सर यस और पॉइंट ए और पॉइंट डी का वर्टिकल प्लेन से डिस्टेंस क्या है पॉइंट ए और पॉइंट किसी भी पॉइंट का किसी भी पॉइंट का ना तो ए का बी का सी का डी का वर्टिकल प्लेन से डिस्टेंस नहीं पता हमको वो दिया नहीं है देखो यहाँ पर दिस इज ए जस्ट मिनट दिस इज ए देन दिस इज बी दिस इज डी एंड दिस इज सी सो वी डोंट नो दिस डिस्टेंस वी डोंट नो दिस डिस्टेंस ऑफ एनी पॉइंट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू वीपी ये वीपी से कितना आगे रखा है ये हमको पता नहीं है ये डिस्टेंस पता नहीं है दिया नहीं है तो कैसे करेंगे हम कहीं पे भी ड्रॉ कर सकते हैं एट एनी डिस्टेंस ठीक है अगर अगर जस्ट टू एड अटेंस आई एम राइटिंग वन ऑफ इट्स कॉर्नर इज ट्वेंटी एम एम इन फ्रंट of vp if this is given if this is given then then what will happen if one of the corner is 20 mm in front of vp agar aisa diya hai to in that case one of the corner can be any corner so generally we will select this corner this distance should be 20 because if you try to keep this distance or this distance 20 it may not be 20 kyunki wo uske andar chala jayega fir plane ke andar chala jayega so we'll select this point this corner whose distance will be 20 from the vp vp matlab top view mein clear yes sir okay so i think i will draw it fairly fair karke draw karta hu main so that then you can take uh, the screenshot I am also going to repeat the procedure. Those who have not understood, they can pay attention here. So this is X line, Y line, and in this X Y line, it is inclined to H P. Inclined to H P means front view will show a line. So front view I have to draw a line, but I don't know what will be the length of this line. So what I will do first is I will first draw the top view. And how will I draw the top view? i will draw the top view such that this point is 20 mm and then a square like this a square like this okay this is a square and i have kept in mind that this distance should be how much this distance should be 20 mm let this point be a b c and d then this will be projected in the front view how it will be projected in the front view like this One, two, B and D will be same line, and this thing, and and when you draw the front view, front view will be like this. And now we will name the front view A dash, B dash, D dash, and C dash. The next step will be to incline the front view like this, and we know the length of this line is equal to this length. So this will be A one dash. here we will have b1 dash d1 dash and c1 dash now we will project this in the top view like this now when you project it we will project it from here also this this will fall in same line this will fall in same line and now we can draw the top view as this will point will be a this will be b and this will be a1 this will be b1 c1 and d1 now if someone wants to draw the side view i am not drawing it here but you can draw the side view here and now you know how to draw the side view so you can draw it project it हेलो सर यस जो फ्रेंड जो है उसमें सर और ब्लाइंड लाइट का हम लोग को हैंडल नहीं मालूम नहीं मालूम 
लेकिन क्वेश्चन में एक क्वेश्चन में क्वेश्चन में एक सेंटेंस दिया है कि द कॉर्नर अपोजिट टू विच इट इज रेस्टिंग इज ट्वेंटी एम अबाउ द एच पी मीन दिस डिस्टेंस इज हाउ मच दिस इज गिवन एज ट्वेंटी एम ठीक है Now, what is the inclination? You can find the inclination. You can find this angle theta. Okay, that can be the question. That can be the question. I hope this is clear to all of you. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Have you taken the screenshot? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Now we'll move to the next question. See what it reads: a pentagonal lamina, a pentagonal lamina, 20 mm side, is resting on HP on one of its corner. The side of the corner on which it is rest uh, is 35. Draw its projections. Now let us understand the question first. See what I do is I generally write here. pentagonal lamina means one view will be a pentagon and other view will be line okay now the second thing that i will find is it is its inclination its inclination with whom so for that i will read the question a pentagonal lamina 20 mm side is resting on hp on one of its corner okay so it is resting on hp on one of its corner let us rest it entirely on the hp pura ka pura lamina hp pe rest kar raha hai कॉर्नर पे नहीं पूरा लेमिना रेस्ट कर रहा है ओके नो इट इज रेस्टिंग ऑन कॉर्नर मतलब उसका एक कॉर्नर ही सिर्फ एचपी में रहेगा इसका मतलब इसका मतलब ये कैसे होगा लेमिना ऐसे होगा यहां पर क्या आना चाहिए कॉर्नर बिकॉज व्हाट डज द कंडीशन सेज द कंडीशन सेज दैट इट इज रेस्टिंग ऑन एचपी ऑन वन ऑफ इट्स कॉर्नर तो जब हम ड्रॉ करेंगे तो यहां पर क्या आना चाहिए हियर वी शुड गेट व्हाट हियर वी शुड गेट कॉर्नर हियर वी शुड गेट कॉर्नर ओनली so initially what will we consider the initial position the initial position that will consider here is lying on hp and here we should have a corner here we should have a corner this point should be a corner now how uh, what further if we read further the side opposite to the corner on which it rests is 35 mm above hp matlab this distance is how much 35 exactly similar to the earlier sum this distance is how much 35 now how will you draw a pentagon how will you draw a pentagon with corner here so you can draw it like this like this this is the pentagon with one of the side vertical one of the side vertical can you draw a pentagon like this so in this case also you can see there is a corner here Is there any other way to draw the pentagon? This is also giving us corner here because we want corner here. We can see, you can see, we want corner here. We want corner here. Here we want corner means here we want corner. Here we want corner means this is one, this is two, this is three. All three cases. can be used only this one cannot be used because this is drawing here drawing here like this will give us what will give us edge here edge here so how many points are there two points two points here how many point we have one here how many point we have one like this is this much clear to all of you yes sir yes sir so, clear वॉट इट से the side opposite to the corner on which it rest is 35 mm above the hp so if this is the corner side opposite to this corner will be this okay 
if this is the corner then the side opposite to the corner will be this and if this is the corner the side opposite to the corner will be this so here we will we'll get we'll get a side here we'll get a side will we get a side here opposite to this corner we'll get it like this but in here we are talking about this point okay and the side is this one here also if i talk about this the side is here and here extremely at the extreme end we have corner so based on the basis of this sentence we can reject these two and we can accept this so this is the initial position which is required for the pentagon i am repeating this thing again i am repeating this thing again the side opposite to the corner on which it rest no any corner take this corner the opposite side to the corner opposite side to this corner is this side take this corner opposite side is this side so it, what the question says is it says that the side which is opposite to the corner this side itself is 35 mm above hp here so if i draw this it fits the question condition of the question does this fits the condition of the question ambiguous not sure not sure this also is not sure okay because when we talk when we will incline this how this side can be inclined at uh, how all this side can be at 35 degree so that is uh, somewhat un un that is somewhat ambiguous we cannot clearly say that but here we can clearly say that okay what is this what is this point this point is a side so this can be accepted and this two can be rejected is this much clear yes sir so this will come only when it is a pentagon okay when it is a pentagon now see an another thing another thing if the sentence in the question is like this the side the side opposite to the corner on which it is resting so if i name this you will be able to understand see a dash sorry not dash a b c d e it is resting on which corner a which is the side opposite to a dc dc now if i write here the side opposite to corner on which it rest is perpendicular to vp then this is the only option फिर तो ये आएगा ही नहीं ना ये आएगा नहीं बिकॉज अपोजिट साइड इज नॉट परपेंडिकुलर टू वीपी इन द सेकंड थर्ड और सेकंड और थर्ड केस ओके सो दिस इज द ओनली ऑप्शन सी आई आई नो आई नो ऑल द स्टूडेंट हैव अंडरस्टूड दैट देयर विल बी पेंटागन इन वन व्यू देयर विल बी लाइन इन अदर व्यू आल्सो ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स हैव अंडरस्टूड दैट दिस लाइन विल बी इंक्लाइंड एंड द पेंटागन विल बी ड्रॉन अकॉर्डिंगली बट देयर आर फ्यू स्टूडेंट्स हु मस्ट हैव नॉट अंडरस्टूड ये पेंटागन ऐसे ही क्यों ड्रॉ किया ऐसे ऐसे यार ऐसे क्यों नहीं कर सकते ठीक है तो जिनको नहीं समझा है उनके लिए मैं फिर से रिपीट करता हूँ कि ठीक है तुम लोगों ने बराबर समझा है ये पेंटागन ऐसे ही ड्रॉ करना है ये क्यों ये इसलिए क्योंकि क्वेश्चन में दिया है कि साइड अपोजिट टू द कॉर्नर ऑन विच इट रेस्ट कॉर्नर जिस पे रेस्ट कर रहा है उसका अपोजिट साइड परपेंडिकुलर टू वीपी परपेंडिकुलर टू वीपी वीपी मतलब कौन सी व्यूमी देखेगा टॉप व्यू में टॉप व्यू में क्या दिखना चाहिए वो साइड वो परपेंडिकुलर दिखना चाहिए टू एक्स वाले इसलिए पेंटागन ऐसे ही बनेगा ऐसे ऐसे और ऐसे पेंटागन नहीं बन सकता है ओके देन एंड देन यू कैन देन यू कैन ड्रॉ इट सो दिस इज द इनिशियल इनिशियल कंडीशन एंड दिस इज द फाइनल कंडीशन नो सी सम ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स विल ड्रॉ इट लाइक दिस आई विल जूम दिस फॉर यू आई विल जूम दिस फॉर यू वॉट some of the students do they draw it like this now what is the problem with this the problem with this is this top view is going into the x y line it's going into the x y line okay it should not go into the x y line it should be slightly away from the x y line so how it should be drawn it should be drawn like this slightly away from the x y line it should be drawn slightly away from the x y line how much away from the x y line that is not known in this case that is not known in this case because the distance which was given in the earlier sum is not given here so we should have a pentagon like this and you can label it now as a 
ए बी सी डी ई दिस विल बी ए डैश हियर विल हैव बी डैश एंड ई डैश एंड हियर विल हैव डी डैश एंड सी डैश एंड देन सेम कैन बी ड्रॉन हियर एंड वी कैन नेम दिस एज वी कैन नेम दिस एज दिस विल बी ए वन डैश हियर विल हैव बी वन डैश एंड ई वन डैश एंड हियर विल हैव सी वन डैश एंड डी वन डैश एंड इफ यू ड्रॉ द प्रोजेक्टर्स फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट लाइक दिस लाइक दिस and from this point and if you draw horizontal projectors then you can get the then you can get the like this and you can name it then a1 b1 c1 d1 e1 Okay, students. Now I am going to modify this question. I am going to modify this question such that such that we have inclination with both HP and VP. Now here the inclination is with HP only. Inclination is with HP only. Now I am going to change the question such that the inclination is with VP also. Okay, so I am writing the question here. The question reads like this: a pentagonal. Lamina, twenty mm side is resting on HP on one of its corner. The lamina is inclined to HP. at say 30 degree 30 degree then the corner uh, the side opposite to the corner on which it rests makes 35 degree with the vp draw its projections see now what are the changes that are made the changes that are made are this makes 35 degree with vp that's it see in if you read the first sentence a pentagonal lamina 20 mm side is resting on the hp on one of its corner okay so resting on hp on one of its corner so this is the answer which is suitable to this question the lamina is inclined to hp at 30 30 degree so this angle is 30 degree Okay. Instead of giving this distance, they have given the angle. This is 30 degree, and it is clearly mentioned that it is inclined to, inclined to HP. Okay. Inclination is with HP. Now the side opposite to the corner on which it rests makes 35 degree the VP. Now this sentence and this sentence which is written in the red color, you read both the sentences. Okay. Understand it. I will give a minute to read this sentence and understand it. See what it says. It says that the side opposite to the corner on which it rests is perpendicular to VP. That is this. Okay. Now in this case, it says that the side opposite to the corner on which it rests makes 35 degree with VP. So when it is saying that it is making 35 degree with VP, it means that we will have to draw one more stage here. One more stage here. And how it will be drawn? Pay attention. So we will first start with the x y line like this. x y line and here we know that this will be a line and this will be a pentagon pentagon like this okay now in second stage what will we do so before that we will have to Draw projections like this. 
like this like this here and then projections horizontally one two three four and five and then in next step what will we do we'll incline it like this and then again we'll draw the projections one from here one from here and the third one from here and we'll get a pentagon like this in this point to this point to this point from here to here and from here to here and now if you name it this will be a b c d e so this will be a b e c d this will be a1 this will be b1 e1 this will be c1 d1 dash all of this will be dash here we will have a1 b1 c1 d1 and e1 now according to the next condition what the next condition says the next condition says that this side this side should be inclined to vp should make what what angle 35 degree now it is making 90 degree so what will we do we'll take this distance in compass how much distance d1 e1 distance in compass and draw a line like this such that such that this angle is how much 35 degree we'll draw a line like this and then we can draw the remaining pentagon after that is drawn then you can locate the point e1 a1 something like this so this is now making what 35 degree with the vp and if i name it then this will be d1 c1 so it will be 2 now d2 c2 this will be e2 this will be a2 and this will be b2 and now the next thing is to project it in the front two so that can be easily done like this one two three four and somewhere here five and this is like this like this now this is interesting to see where the point which point lies a2 is here so this point will be what this will be a2 dash b2 is here so this point will be b2 dash c2 is here so c point will be c2 dash d is here so it will be d2 dash and where will be e e will be here e2 dash and we will get a we'll get a pentagon which will be like this a2 e e2 b b2 c c2 d and d2 e see this is the third stage so first stage second stage and third stage so in third stage we will have to make this change like this is it clear to all of you any doubt to anyone no sir third wala ek bar wapis se bata de please ha third wala stage dekho yahan par suno third stage mein kya bola hai ki ye jo edge डीई e है दिस एज डीई e. इसका एंगल कितना होना चाहिए एक्स वाई लाइन के साथ 35 डिग्री क्योंकि 35 डिग्री विद बीपी बोला मतलब इसका एंगल 35 होना चाहिए तो एक पहले लाइन ड्रॉ करेंगे यहाँ पे 35 डिग्री पे उस लाइन पे इतना डिस्टेंस डी और सी डी और सी डिस्टेंस मार्क करेंगे यहाँ से यहाँ तक ठीक है ये डिस्टेंस मार्क कर दिया फिर कौन सा पॉइंट चाहिए हमको ई चाहिए ई तो ई वन हो जाएगा बी चाहिए तो बी हो जाएगा ए वन चाहिए तो ए टू हो जाएगा ये चारों पांचों पॉइंट यहाँ पर हम मार्क कर देंगे ठीक है और फिर इनको प्रोजेक्ट करेंगे टॉप व्यू में सबको और फिर इनको प्रोजेक्ट करेंगे फ्रंट व्यू से जहां पर जो मिलेगा वो पॉइंट को वो नाम देंगे और सीक्वेंस कैसे ज्वाइन करने का है ए टू बी बी टू सी सी टू डी डी टू ई एंड ई टू ए अभी यहाँ पर एक और चीज है दैट इज हाउ विल यू गेट दिस लोकेशन ऑफ ई एंड बी एंड ए इस व्यू में इस व्यू में कैसे मिलेगा तो देखो ध्यान दो यहां पर सी दिस इज वर्टिकल लाइन एंड दिस इज आल्सो वर्टिकल लाइन सो दिस पॉइंट दिस दिस डिस्टेंस दिस डिस्टेंस विल रिमेन द सेम 
this distance will remain the same. Why it will remain the same? Because we are just rotating it like this. We are just rotating it. So this distance is not going to change. So what you can do is in order to obtain those points, after drawing this, you can draw this line. You can draw this line here. Now this distance, this distance, this particular distance here is equal to this distance, is equal to this distance. <coughs> and then this distance, this distance is this distance. This way you can locate the point A2, B2, E2. And then you just project it, you will get the front view. Is this clear to all of you? Any doubt to any student? <coughs> 